urban settings of mainland China is hard to miss cosplay nowadays, as annually there will be hundreds of events being held throughout China. By then, you will notice a large group of youth gathering together and getting ready to enjoy themselves. Among whom, you may also notice someone in in costumes, and these costumes were created based on the characters taken from manga, animations, or games. And this is what we call cosplay. Cosplay is a portmanteau of costume play. Cosplay is not originated in China, but rather this cultural practice was introduced through Taiwan and Hong Kong from Japan in late 90s. Within two decades, cosplay has become the most practiced youth culture amongst Chinese millennials. My work tried to examine cosplay from the perspective of spaces, tackling the question where and how these costume youth play, how audience interacts with them. Furthermore, I explore their choices of space and how these chosen spaces reshape the cosplay practice in return. First, let me walk you through a brief history of spatial swifts for practi、uh, cosplay practices in China. At the very beginning, cosplay was practiced within private rooms, and the production, in forms of photography, will be shown and shared on early social medias. Gradually, cosplayers walked out of their doors and was displayed in game-related events. Later, in 2005, cosplay competitions were held to serve the growing Chinese creative industry. The cosplay evolved. In terms of performativity, as cosplayers were staged, signature gestures were replaced with walk shows, stage plays, or skits. Due to a higher exposure, many cosplay celebrities emerged as well. But recently, cosplay competition are further professionalized, and the majority of amateur cosplay and its audience gather to conventions instead. In Chinese, we call such conventions as manja. There, the border of cosplayer and audience are blurred. Costumed goers will start a performance with a signature gesture whenever they were stopped by an audience who asks for a photo. The audience, her or himself, can be in costumes as well. Around the stages within the convention. Performances will be accompanied with cheering the audience as well. They arm wave sticks to show their fan love to the performers in costumes. In one word, the whole convention itself is the stage, where temporary performances take place at random time. Anyone can be the performer, and any others can be the audience. As TikTok went viral, small screen social media became new stages for cosplayers and cosplay practice. So I stay curious and hoping to work on other possible spaces for cosplay for performances in the future. Mm -hmm.